Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna talk to you about some lychee fragrances. Now, I'm not gonna say I'm a lychee expert, <laughs> but uh, uh, when I go out, if there's a lychee martini on the menu, best believe she's getting the lychee martini. So, if you wanna know about these lychee fragrances today, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now, jumping right in guys, I wanna share with you some lychee bath products that actually made me wanna do this video, and they're from the body shop, but here's the thing, they're limited edition, okay? You can order some of the products online, I will link them if they're linkable, but if you can't find something online, then just try to go in store if you're by a Bath and Body Works, not Bath and Body Works, if you're by a body shop, just try to, you know, stroll inside and see if they have them. And if not, then just wait until TJ Maxx gets some because that's what happens all the time. Body Shop does some limited edition products. They keep them for like a couple of months and then they sell the remaining to um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you know, whatever. So just go into one of them stores if you can't find them. But I need to talk about them just in case they are online and you can go in store and get them. So the first thing is the Luscious Lychee Creamy Body Wash, y'all. It's, first of all, let me tell y'all something. Well, before I tell y'all, let me let me talk to Bath the Body Shop <laughs> real quick. Body Shop people, are y'all watching? Can y'all please stop making these bomb AF products and then getting us all excited? We start talking about them, telling the people, and then y'all discontinue them or they're limited edition. Can we make the whack products limited edition? Cause don't nobody want them anyway. But when y'all make the fly products, like I said fly, like how is body products fly? But when y'all make the good products that we can't live without, and then you're like, oh, it's limited edition get it now like why can't y'all make this all the time y'all will make money off of it do y'all hear me all right body shop people that's it i, that, I ain't got nothing to say to y'all okay but now y'all <laughs> so this right here is so creamy it's moisturizing but when i tell you this scent if you love the scent of a tropical fruity juicy lychee you will love this Oh my goodness, when I tell you the body shop knows how to do these fruits, but they piss me off because they make them limited edition. Why? Why, Sway? I think this is still online. If it's not online, just walk into your uh, body shop and see if you can get it because if you love lychee, you need this and rack up because after this, they gonna be gone, okay? Now, Luscious Lychee Exfoliating Scrub. Y'all, it's creamy, it's thick, it exfoliates, it feels good on the body, and it smells incredible. I love this formulation of the scrub. I'm showing y'all a new one because I have one in the shower right now, but look at this. It kind of looks like a body polish. Like It kind of reminds me of the Dove body polishes. So that's the consistency if you're familiar with that. Y'all, I love it. Love it so much and it smells like lychee. It smells so good, so tropical, so fruity. Oh, it's so delicious, y'all. Like, I'm so pissed at them because I hate talking to you guys about products that I can't just link. Like, you guys are always like, oh, where did you get it? And I'm like, oh, see what happened was. Like, I went to the store and got it. But I understand that the body shop isn't everywhere and you guys all can't get to a body shop. So I will, like I said, link what I can link. All right. Now, Luscious Lychee Whipped Body Butter. I had this in a favorites video. Like y'all know, I absolutely love this. I love it so much, y'all. It is amazing. If you can get your hands on it, please get your hands on it. If you love the scent of lychee. Okay. I'm done talking about the body shop. Cause they done made me mad. Like, I want y'all to be able to get the stuff. Like they done made me real mad. Okay. All right, so let's get into this list. It's not a lot of fragrances, y'all. 
but I definitely want to share them with you because it's summertime and lychee is tropical and fruity. I love how it smells and these fragrances are perfect for the summer and I've never done a lychee video so I'm like might as well right so the first thing is a body spray it's the soul sheriosa brazilian crush number 60 is it soul sheriosa yeah no it's sheriosa <laughs> brazilian crush number 68 this is known as smelling like baccarat rouge like the fruity baccarat rouge and y'all know i love me some baccarat i love this too okay i'm not gonna lie to y'all but it doesn't smell like Baccarat Rouge to me, but you know, to each his own. This smells more like Burberry Her um, EDP, which also doesn't smell like Baccarat Rouge to me. I've heard people say that, but I feel like the people that say that don't have Baccarat because there's no way that Burberry Her is smelling like Baccarat to me. You know, it, everybody's different, you know, but for my nose, it doesn't. Like, I smell strawberries and sweet, fruity strawberries in Burberry Her um, Elixir and the EDP. And in this, this smells like lychee. It smells fruity. It's beautiful. Dragon fruit, lychee, hibiscus, jasmine, sea notes, vanilla, and musk. Super tropical, super fruity. It smells exotic, but it smells like a body spray. It doesn't smell like a fragrance. It smells like a really good tropical body spray, and I love it. It's perfect for vacation, perfect for waking up early, taking a shower. If you don't feel like, oh, it smells so good. If you don't feel like putting on a fragrance, like a perfume, and you're going to breakfast or, you know, about to do an excursion, you're going to be out maybe doing some water sports, then this is a perfect fragrance for you to just spray all over your body, get it all over your toes, your knees, your back, like spray this everywhere and get your tropical lychee life. Okay. So, so not so Sheriosa Brazilian Crush number 68. All right, y'all, so bond number nine, Greenwich Village, has a lychee note in the opening that is amazing, okay? It's so fruity, it's so juicy. This fragrance needed that lychee. Not saying that this fragrance is woody or masculine or anything like that, but the lychee just adds an extra kind of like sweet sour type vibe to the fragrance because this is a very sweet fragrance. It has pralines, I think it has vanilla, it has musk. It's kind of floral, but y'all, it is so perfect. Like this fragrance is everything. I know a lot of people don't like it. Like it's crazy that people in my comment section talk bad about Greenwich Village because who hurt you? Who did it? Like, let's talk about it. Because how could you not love this beautiful fragrance? I mean, there's lychee, there's cassis, there's mandarin orange, peonies, water lilies, jasmine, and broxen, praline, musk, vanilla, and oak moss. Nothing funky in this fragrance. Nothing challenging in this fragrance. It's so beautiful. This can be a signature scent. You can wear this all year round okay it can be a everyday day-to-day -day, easy reach i just want to smell better than everybody fragrance it can be a date night fragrance brunt i mean this fragrance is versatile okay when i tell you it is amazing i absolutely love it greenwich village by bond number nine Next up is a fragrance that I don't really speak about on my channel and the only reason why is because it's not that available. Like you have to be by some type of a niche shop to be able to smell this fragrance. You can't go into Neiman Marcus or Saks or Bloomingdale's, Sephora, like you can't go into any of those stores and smell this fragrance. So that's why I don't speak about it, but Having a lychee video and not having this fragrance, I wouldn't be truthful. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I will try to link it if I can find it. But Amra Oud, Am Ar Oud Midnight Rose is a beautiful fruity oud fragrance. It's rose, oud, lychee. It's a fruity oud, fruity rose. It is beautiful. The fruit in this fragrance obviously is lychee. It has oud. It's one of my favorite fragrances, y'all. Like this fragrance, it lasts forever on the skin. It's like a date night fragrance. Like if you love oud, you'll absolutely love this. But like I said, it's a fruity oud. I wish this was so... Oh. Oh my goodness, I wish this was sold in Neiman Marcus and Bloomingdale's and Saks and other retailers that you guys can get your nose on it because this would be the talk of the town. Everyone needs to experience this fragrance, at least to smell it, to say, oh no, the oud is too strong, the oud is ooding. 
but it's so gorgeous y'all like it's super sexy you can't tell me nothing it opens up with lychee there's pomelo mate there's lily red roses iris amber labdanum and oud y'all it's a beautiful fragrance the oud in this fragrance you smell it but it doesn't smell animalic it doesn't smell funky it doesn't smell challenging it's a beautiful, super sexy, fruity rose fragrance that I'm obsessed with, okay? Amwa Oud Midnight Rose. Okay, so this is Carolina Herrera's Very Good Girl. I went into Ulta a year ago or some months ago, and I was like, ooh, a red shoe. Like, it's bright. It caught my eye. Um, I sprayed it, and I kept it moving. I was like, ooh, you know, and I just sprayed it, like, just to spray it, and kept it moving. I had no interest in buying it. I did not go in there for a fragrance, but when I see new things, I always want to spray it, smell it, and, you know, keep it pushing, whatever. I was in Ulta for maybe, like, 10, 15 minutes, and I kept smelling my hand. I sprayed it on my hand, and I was like, ooh, this smells so good. Like, I love this. And I bought it. I didn't even know this came out. Like, I knew nothing about this fragrance. I just went in Ulta and saw this beautiful, like, sexy red shoe. And was like, ooh, let me smell it. And then I came out of Ulta with the damn fragrance. It opens up with lychee. There's red currant, rose, vanilla, and vetiver. Listen, the good girl line is not for everybody. Everybody don't like these bottles. I get it. It is what it is. But if you love lychee, if you love sweet, fruity fragrances, you will love this. Try it out. I'm not telling you to blind buy it or anything. But I had to put it in this video because it took me by surprise. So it is what it is. But I like the good girl fragrances. I like the good girl DNA. So if you're someone like me and you kind of like the good girl fragrances, then try this one and you know see how you feel about it it's not my favorite good girl my favorite is the pink one the new one that just came out i love that one it smells more powdery more soft it's still fruity but this is still really cute because like i said i sprayed it and i kept smelling it and it's not a soft quiet fragrance like this fragrance is a loud beast mode fragrance like people will smell you when you're wearing this fragrance it lasts forever on the skin so you must love it because you have to be committed to this one very very good girl by Carolina Herrera. Next up, we have the crowd favorite by Louis Vuitton, and it's a trap rev. And I say it's a crowd favorite because every time I see somebody's collection, whether they have a big collection or a small collection, whether they're a collector or just somebody on Instagram that I happen to see their closet and see the fragrances that they have, they always have a trap rev. Everyone loves this fragrance, and for good reason. It's super pretty. It's a fruity rose fragrance. I'm gonna tell y'all the notes. <sighs> Y'all always want to know notes, Joe. So it opens up with lychee. There's ginger, bergamot, peony, cacao, Turkish rose, and patchouli. Y'all, this fragrance is so easy. It's so feminine. It's such a pretty scent. It's a little sour. It has a little sourness to it, but it's like a good sour. Nothing bad. Like, not like sour, like it's going bad. Like, sis, you need to throw it away. No, it's just that the lychee has a more sour note, like a more sour scent in this fragrance. But it's so pretty. Now, this fragrance is really pretty and feminine and I love it. But it doesn't have enough presence for me. So I always layer this fragrance. It's beautiful to layer with other fragrances. But on its own, it's like a bedtime scent for me because I don't get that beast mode. And everything doesn't have to be beast mode. But I still want to be able to smell you on me. This fragrance, it kind of like, it wears a little closer to my skin. It's not like out there i have to really really spray super heavy spray on my clothes which i do anyway but if you're somebody who just sprays like here 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 and here and keep it pushing i'm not sure how much you're gonna smell this one you're gonna smell it because you know if you put your hand up to your nose or whatever but it's not engulfing you you're not living in this like a trap rev bubble that's not what i experience if you experience that with this fragrance leave it in the comments below let's talk about it but like i said it's a beautiful scent pretty for bed pretty for running errands like day to day pretty feminine scent nothing too groundbreaking well nothing groundbreaking at all about it but it is really pretty and slightly unique but i have to really like work with this fragrance in order for me to make it work but i love it a trap rev by louis vuitton so the original delina is all about the rhubarb we know that i feel like even if you don't wear perfume you know that delina has rhubarb but delina la rose is all about the lychee and the rose 
so beautiful, so pretty. This fragrance, it's a lighter wearing fragrance. It's not as strong as Delina Exclusive and not as much of a presence as the regular Delina, but do not play with her. Do not sleep on her. Don't play with her. She is there. Like, don't think because she come in this little clear bottle that she's just like a little light and airy fragrance because she's not, okay? This opens up with lychee. There's pear, bergamot, peony, Turkish rose, watery notes, floral notes, white musk, woody notes, and Haitian vetiver. Super pretty. It smells like Delina. Like, you can tell she's from the Delina family. Like, you can tell a sister's child but and however it's not sour it's not tart it's super sweet you smell the rose if you love rose fragrances you will absolutely love this because you smell the rose it smells like a fruity rose not too sweet not too jammy it's a little fresh you can wear it on a super hot day um it's unoffensive like it's not gonna offend anybody you can overspray this fragrance get your life and it lasts forever on the skin okay so delina la rose by parfums de marley all right guys we've made it to the end of the video leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your favorite lychee fragrances if you even love lychee let's talk about it like we always do remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace